Here comes the money. You're now listening to the Gambling with Gold podcast with Jason Gold. Presented by Champions Round. Hello and welcome to Gambling with Gold episode 40. My name is Jason Gold. I am not joined by Dan Titus today. We are doing a little pre-Mexico festivities heading down there for the weekend. So we're getting our best bets out on a Wednesday this week 15. Before we jump into the best bets this week, let's talk about a little champions run action. We have three different seven stakes contests going on. We have one for Saturday, New England Indy. We have one for Sunday, Baltimore and Green Bay. And we have one for Monday Night Football, Minnesota at Chicago. Jump into all of those. We were giving away giveaway items for all of those also. And we have a couple of mystery boxes. So stay locked in on our Instagram and Twitter for more information on all of those special giveaways. All right. Here we go. Short show. Time to give out our top five best bets of the week. Week 15, the COVID week. Uh, yeah, it's going to be weird. Wait until Friday or Saturday to place these get as much information as possible on all of this COVID news. But we're going to give you where we're leaning on a Wednesday afternoon. A little Andy Reid inspired outfit today. we got a Thursday night game with Kansas City and the Chargers. I will not be betting that one as one of my top five. But I do like the under 52 tomorrow night. And maybe some props. You're going to have to look forward to our blog on the Champions Run app for those picks. All right. Let's get into the top five this week. I guess I'm up first. No Danny boy this week. Number one, Buffalo minus 10. I think this is an absolute smash spot for them. Carolina has given up on this season. Buffalo needs a win in the worst way. They're seven and six right now. I like what I saw in the second half last week against Tampa Bay. Josh Allen running the ball a ton. I'm not too worried about his injury. I think he's going to come out and smash here. Uh, look, Buffalo is a really good team that has lost a lot of games in a row. I think this is an absolute get right spot for them. They tend to win games and blow teams out at home, especially bad teams. The quarterback situation in Carolina is really gross right now. DJ Moore might not play for the Panthers. We know what's going on with their running back room. I don't like what I've seen on defense recently. Atlanta torched them. So give me Buffalo. Minus 10, I would bet this all the way up to Buffalo. Minus 11 is my number one pick of week 15. All right. Number two, two pick of the week. I like this more as a teaser, but right now I'll still take it. Cincinnati plus two and a half at Denver. Denver coming off of a big win against the Lions, but I think there's a little regression here. Cincinnati has not looked elite in two weeks, two straight losses. I think this is a get-right spot for them. I think that they take this game straight up against the Broncos. Give me Cincinnati 27-23. I think they'll be able to stop Denver's running game. I do not trust Teddy Bridgewater to get it done through the air versus the Bengals, and I think that Jamar Chase or T. Higgins is going to have a huge game against this Denver defense. So give me the Bengals. Money line, but also take the plus two and a half. And more specifically, plus eight and a half. That is an absolutely outstanding number to use as a teaser piece this week. Number three, Indianapolis Colts minus two and a half. I think this is the spot where New England gets tripped up. Both teams coming off of a bye week. I like what the Colts can do on defense to stop the Patriots. I expect a low scoring game. I like the under 45 and a half in this one. Jonathan Taylor are going to be able to shrink this game. I don't think Carson Wentz is going to turn over the ball that much or be that much of a liability to the Colts offense. I don't think that Mac Jones is going to be able to get it done much through the air. There's some injury news on the running backs for the Patriots. We still have Ramondre Stevenson and Damian Harris not running at full capacity, which might limit the Patriots' offense. So give me a low-scoring game. Give me the Colts to take this one, let's say, 24-17. Uh, but I do really like New England as a plus 8.5 as a teaser piece also. That's one of my favorites of the week. Uh, number four pick of the week. Pittsburgh Steelers plus one and a half. We've seen this Tennessee team. They should not be favorites given their current circumstances on the road against this Pittsburgh Steelers team that desperately needs a win. I think that they will get it done at home. So take, give me them money line. Also might do a little parlay with them and Cincinnati as well. Uh, I love, love, love the Steelers plus seven and a half as a teaser piece. Also uh, this line might get to pick them by the end of the week. So maybe if you want to get on the Steelers, go ahead and bet that one right now. Fifth pick of the week. This is where we're getting gross. Talked about it on the Tuesday show with Dan. Uh, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Give me minus three. I already bet it minus three. It's now three and a half or four. I would still take those numbers. My number on this game is six or six and a half. I do not trust Houston with Davis Mills. Do not look at the fact that he had 300 yards last week. It was absolutely gross. 
Uh, I think that Jacksonville can get this done. I think that their defense is not getting enough credit. I think that they are going to force a lot of turnovers against the Houston Texans in this game. I think the offense can do just enough to squeak by and cover this. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars winning 20 to 13 over the Houston Texans. Now, I, I had a little bit of a mix up with the five and the six. I was a little confused. I was going back and forth. Uh, so I put in Jacksonville. I really like that one. But the sixth one that I really like this week is San Francisco up to minus nine. Probably wouldn't bet it past there. Also love bringing San Francisco down from nine to three as a teaser piece. I think they're just rolling hot right now. You know, I'm a little scared of the Shanahan thing where he's a terrible home favorite, but I think that they're able to get this done against an Atlanta team that is coming off of a big win, but I just do not trust this Atlanta team. I think that Kyle Shanahan is going to know some of the players on the other side. He's going to have a good scheme up for uh, Matt Ryan. And I think that this, man, the San Francisco team, they're just rolling. They have a bunch of great pieces. Debo's healthy. Kittle looks like a monster. They're going to get Elijah Mitchell back. I think that they're going to be able to score a lot of points in this game. I love the San Francisco over team total. Not sure what that number is going to come out at, but anything up to 28, uh, I would definitely lay the lumber on in this one. Uh, some over-unders I like this week, Atlanta, San Francisco over 46. Just talked about how I think San Francisco is going to score a bunch of points in this game. I think that they're going to get to 30, to be honest with you. So I think Atlanta can at least get to 17 and get me the over there. Kansas City, uh, Chargers under 52. Definitely like that one. Uh, I think that Thursday night football, and because of divisional rivalry, I think there would not be a ton of points in that game. Uh, Green Bay, Baltimore over 43 and a half. That's a little bit of a projection on Lamar Jackson being able to play. That number seems like it's baked in where it's maybe 50-50 that he's going to play. I think there will be more points than we think in that game. So I think that over 43 and a half is a good bet. Arizona, Detroit. Arizona lost DeAndre Hopkins for the regular season, it looks like. Don't trust this Detroit Lions team to score. I don't think Arizona is going to put up a 35-burger in this one. So give me the under 47. Uh, teaser pieces that I like this week. Already talked about a couple. New England plus eight and a half. Pittsburgh plus seven and a half. Chargers at plus eight and a half or plus nine. Cincinnati plus eight and a half plus nine. San Francisco minus three. Any combination of any of those, put those all in a round robin. I think a lot of winners right there. In terms of the rest of the, the card, some leans that I'm looking at. Chargers plus three and a half. Dallas minus ten and a half. Detroit plus 13. Really like that one, actually. I think that would have been my seventh pick this week. Jets plus 10. That number is just a little bit too high. I know the Dolphins are playing really good and the Jets are playing really bad, really badly right now, but uh, that number is too high for a divisional matchup and two teams that are not going to score a ton of points uh, come Sunday. Baltimore plus five, especially if Lamar's playing, that might be an auto lock. That might be like my fourth or fifth best pick if that happens. Just a little scared with uh, the potential that Lamar's not going to play in this one, given how the Packers have been winning and covering this season. Seattle plus four and a half. We obviously know the Rams' COVID issues. But I think that Seattle's a team that may have turned a corner a little bit. Divisional matchup, this one's going to be tight. I could see this being a field goal game uh, against the Rams. Uh, I like Tampa Bay, minus 11. Don't love it a lot. We know what New Orleans can do to this Tampa Bay offense, but I think that the Bucs are just rolling right now. It's going to be hard to stop them, and I'm not sure that the Saints are going to be able to keep up enough offensively with this Tampa Bay team. So give me minus 11 there. Monday Night Football, I really have no idea. The Sharps are supposed to be going towards Chicago, plus three and a half. We, we just saw Minnesota in primetime get it done. Kirk Cousins looked okay. He threw a couple of interceptions, but for the most part, he looked okay. Bears are going in the wrong direction. Just don't trust Nagy enough. So if this comes down to three, I'll definitely bet Minnesota at three and a half. I'll probably stay away. But interesting nonetheless, I am leaning towards the Vikings. So that does it for this week, episode 40 of Gambling with Gold. We will be back next Tuesday with our week 16 betting preview. Until then, go download the Champions Run app. Go play our seven stakes contest. We also have another free boost ball contest available. This is the last time that you can enter boost ball this year. So go ahead, jump in, go do that, go make some money and earn some giveaways. Until next time, good luck with your bets and we'll see you later.